Cheers. What's up, YouTube? Back at you guys with another video. It's been a long process. Oh my goodness, guys. It was a long night. So, the uh, last video I showed was doing the trunk. I don't know if this is going to get hard on the fiberglass, but it did. It dried, so 24 hours. That's good. Got all the holes filled in. We still got a couple more holes I've been finding because I'm cleaning out um, in the fender wells and the brakes and all that good stuff. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We do car content over here. And we'll get right into this video right after this intro. Peace. Alright guys, so y'all can see this is what I started with. We took the wheels off to go put the new tires on if y'all missed that video. And they were the wrong size. So we ended up working with the old tires and getting some valve stems fixed and stuff like that but this is how it was looking and let me show you the back too and it's too much to record guys so this is like my fourth video of this weekend and it's just it's too much to record i've just been in grind mode trying to get it all knocked out if i kept this camera on shoot we'll have like 12 13 hours worth of videos so I'm just showing y'all bits and pieces. I mean, there's enough videos out here to learn how to do this stuff. I'm learning myself. I'm, I, shoot, I've never done fiberglass. But y'all see how that rust treatment is killing everything. We just treated this side, so once this side dries, we're going to get ready to lay down some primer that has a, a rust inhibitor inside of it. And then we'll get ready to paint this and this side will be done. We got to fill in that hole. I'm going to put metal right there because it's pretty easy to get to. Uh, shouldn't touch that. Still got that rust treatment on there. Uh, let me show you all the back. This one treated overnight. Um, it did real good. And then I got to um, grinding and found all these bad spots so it's like they put um silicone right here or some <coughs> excuse me so i chipped that stuff off and i don't know i'm a fiberglass see if i can put some metal in there or something but <coughs> we're not gonna leave it like that excuse me man this rust treatment this acid is strong so anyways guys i'll show y'all what it looks like when we start painting like i said if i keep this camera on this video will be too long so we'll get right back to y'all once we start painting see y'all in a minute all right guys like i said man this is taking forever so i cleaned up my work area got everything cleaned out um this one is pretty much dry i ended up sanding a little bit more and found some new holes so I'm going to fiberglass this area. That big hole right there, of course, we got to do metal. So, uh, I'm going to get my piece of metal cut out. I'll probably do that one off camera. But we'll go ahead and get this fiberglassed up. That way we can start painting. Because it's fixing to get late. Let's check the other side. I think this is pretty much dry. With the uh, rust treatment. As y'all can see, all the rust is gone. And we got a hole right here that I want to do metal on. So we're going to do metal right there because that's going to show when you open the hood. And of course, we got to do metal right there. We can turn the wheel on this one so we can go ahead and paint this bottom area on this one. So that's kind of the plan, guys. It's just that stuff takes forever to dry. I cleaned up my work area a little bit. My wife been upset. It's a, like a war zone around here. Look, look at all the tools. Look at man. But she moves, she drives. So I'm happy about that. It's a good thing. All right, guys, let me get to work. All right, our battery went dead. 
story of our lives. But it's coming together pretty good. Um, now we're gonna just, we'll let it dry and we'll fill in this top hose. I'm gonna go stick this in there. It's five glass. Stay in there though. That's where that big hole is at. Oh, I see another hole. Oh, yeah, we gotta get that hole. Dang it. It's a hole right there. Alright, we'll we'll get him here in a minute. Alright. Let's see. Let's see if my son measurements was right. Hey, hey! I know one of y'all experts is watching. So what is like an easier way to get this stuff to stick on there first? They still riding the four wheeler. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let us get this sealed up and then we'll start painting, guys. All right, we got the vet covered up. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to paint. I got some, so this is well through primer. So that's gonna be for the trunk. And then we're gonna use standard primer right here. And then we're gonna use, let me show y'all real quick. <coughs> this, uh, rust reform <coughs> this will put a good coating on there and y'all see i got my motor covered up so yeah we'll just knock it out guys it takes so long to do all this stuff stuff to dry stuff to man so we fiberglass that whole back part while i was waiting on everything to dry so we just gonna we gotta get this done well not like done but we gotta get the wheels back on i'm not worried about that hose because that's gonna be black but we gotta get some primer on this bare metal and some rust prevention All right, guys, I'm trying to watch what I'm doing, too. My son's going to uh, come record for me here in a minute. We're eating, uh, we eating dinner. Y'all drop down in the comments to tell me what y'all have for dinner today. I'll probably be dropping this video around 7, so. I don't know. We usually eat pretty late. Ooh. A little run there. The main thing, we just want to cover everything that that we sanded down. Even this ugly spring, we'll upgrade later on.
We'll upgrade later on if we keep the car. This car has been a headache, like seriously. So I don't know. We might keep it. I mean, it's cool. down and get the rest of this I don't know if y'all can see yeah y'all can see try to just get a little bit of primer back here that look too pretty look, we gotta cover all this that we sand it Sand it that, sand it that, sand it that, we sand it that, we sand it a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do the other side off camera, guys. Cause y'all see how long it took just to do one side. Oh, my son done jumped on the four wheeler. Didn't even let his food settle yet. And I already jumped on that. What you doing, man? You already <laughs> jumping on the four wheeler? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just covering all the spots that we treated. We treated all this. You didn't even swallow your food good trying to get out here. Lee, I went to get new rotors. They didn't have them in stock. Man, I just got paint all over my hand trying to turn that. Why that one turn though? That's weird. But anyways, <laughs> just keep it going. Oh man! Now I'm gonna get paint on my camera. Golly. We'll probably go one more color primer and then I'll turn y'all on when we get ready to do the uh, black. Uh, I need to lay down. Hold on, guys. Yeah, we're gonna need some more primer too. Alright. I'll turn y'all back on when we get ready to do uh, black. Alright guys, time to lay the black. And this is uh, the rust reform. And then we're going to call it a night. Well, I'm going to call it a night with y'all. I got to finish the whole other side and everything. That's, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, guys. I 
is still riding the four wheeler, guys. But we want to get it everywhere that rust is at. to the spray, spray paint. You wanna get that stuff in there everywhere. Y'all, we, we still gotta fix that, so we'll just kind of go around it like that. Oh, dang, this paint come out quick. Caught a run there. get it covered so it stop rusting. All right guys, we're gonna turn y'all off and then we'll show y'all the finished product on this side. Y'all already know the routine, man. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.